good morning guys welcome to today it is super early gabby and i are headed to the barn i'm super worried so i'm up super early this morning i have a lot of stuff i have to do you guys i hardly slept last night like the worrying over a sick horse is awful just the infection alone is awful but now with the not pooping or very little pooping it makes me even more scared let's just stop for a minute and take in the beauty that is today camera does not show how beautiful that sunrise is it is gorgeous out today you guys a nice cushion on the ground for the horses and i got molly by my side before we get started i want to share with you guys the conundrum that is penny's stall you guys can't tell because the camera makes it look so different but her stall is very clean it i don't know why it's the colors in the camera and it's very thick I don't know if you guys can see. It's like there's four bags of shavings in this stall right now that I just put in. The sawdust, like sand, was different. It kind of took on like a different look because it takes in the humidity that's in the air and in winter it's like a whole different situation. But trust me, we clean our stalls. Might not be perfect, but they're very clean. Our horses don't have any problems with their feet, our girls. Okay, so basically, I need to get some stuff before I can go to the barn. Uh, our vet wants us to make a wet mash, so I need some grain. We could use the owner, the barn owner's grain, for sure, but we have grain here as well. So I'm just gonna need to take some of our own because I don't like to mess in his stuff. Looks like I need grain for the, for the barn. Um, okay, so. I'm gonna bring some of this with me. I need our electrolytes. I forgot our electrolytes yesterday and then I realized that Chino really needed them. And so I was able to message Kaylee's dad and he brought me over some because they were riding after us anyways. Got it. Then I'm gonna grab some chaff and then I'm gonna grab some beet pulp if I can find it. I can't find the beet pulp. I, don't, I think I must have thrown it out. I'm a throwing it out kind of girl. But Chino has not had any grain for the last two feeds, so today we're gonna give him breakfast. If you guys remember, Chino loves this stuff, this chaff, this stuff from the bottom of the hay. Actually, I have a better idea. Oh, a miracle! A hot penny pickle! She was out there eating, you guys, and then she heard me. Look what I have for you today. I have a mint pen. I've been missing you, you guys. I have some crazy, amazing video that I have to make for a really fun project I'm excited to share with you. But to make it, I have to ride Penny on the road today. So if I can get Chino squared away, I'm coming back to ride her on the road. And I feel like, yes, good girl. I feel like this beautiful day that's out there where it's not so, so cold. Look at the shavings in your hair. I feel like that is... Wait, let me get you a carrot. Hold on. I feel like that um, sun out there is God saying, yes, do it, Nora. Do it. Uh-oh, the carrots are a little frozen. Don't think you can eat a frozen carrot, Penny Pickle. Oh, she's still there. Hello, Penny Pickle. I swear I hardly had any sleep, you guys. Oh, it's a bit, bit chewy. Bit hard. <laughs> and you guys, I don't know if you guys have noticed... But her ears, she doesn't pin them hardly, like, at all anymore. A little bit when I'm riding. That's how she communicates. Now she's pinning them because the ponies are coming. <laughs> Gracie, girl, I'll come out there and help you, too. I got a treat for you, too, Grace. She's still waiting for me, you guys. She says, Laura, I will wait till the ends of the earth for you. <laughs> Look at those ears. What do you want, Penny Pickle? She's like, give me more food. Man, I love her. All right, we are headed to the barn already. Gabby, you got everything? Wait, we need another bucket. All right, fine, we'll just work with what we have and figure it out. So we are headed to the barn. I'm excited to go and see. I messaged the barn owner. He only messages me if there's a problem. Like, he knows we're watching him poop. Uh, he would have messaged me if there was no poop today, but I did send him a message. I'm gonna check it right now. No message yet. He's probably out with this uh, tractor. There was snow in the night. He's probably shoveling or doing whatever, but he always messages me if I need to know. So hopefully that means that there was poop. I'm still gonna follow up with him. Uh, see what we can see when we get there. Got my riding hair on. I woke up this morning, like you 
guys know, I don't know if I told you, but the last few days I've been having a really hard time sleeping, but I have not been like super tired. So I'll like go to bed and then I'll wake up and I'll think it's morning and it's like 1 a.m. and then I can't go back to sleep until like 5 a.m. No, I don't, I don't wake you up. Yeah, I have to go on my phone. Like I never before in my life have I ever had to go on my phone. Usually I can just lay there for like 20 minutes or even 40 minutes and fall back asleep. I try that and two hours goes by and I'm still awake so I go on my phone. If I turn it off and you, I push you over so you can't see it. Push me off the bed. And I can tell by the way you're snoring that you're that I'm not keeping you awake. And then last night I was thinking maybe it's Sam snoring that's keeping me awake. I can Don't hear snore from my room. Oh my gosh. You, guys, you, want a bit, you can hear him from your room? You want? Uh, you all want a video? You want me to get a video? Cause I'm on my phone in the middle of the night. I'll get a video. I try and be respectful of his privacy, but if you guys need me to prove it to you that he snores, Sam needs me to prove it to him that he snores. I, I can get a video. I'm okay with that. Anyways, so uh, so that happened like two days, two days this week where I woke up and. So this morning I woke up and it was dark out and I'm like, oh man, here we go again. And I was wide awake and I was like, okay, I can't wait for the light to come out because I want to wake up, I want to go do this and I want to go do that and I want to go do this. Like I have all these plans, the things that I want to do. And then I turned on my phone and it was like 10 to 7. I was like, yes, I did it. 10 to 7. So yeah, Sam, I'm sorry if I was waking you up at 10 to 7. Sam wakes up at 8. Anyways, let's get to the barn, check on our boy. Okay, so I heard from the barn owner. And he said, Chino is back to normal. So I worried so much last night. I must have made a mess of his stall. I did give him the electrolytes last night. Probably drank everything and that's probably why. I'm gonna do it again. All right, you guys. So not only is he, not only did he poop like normal last night, he is looking so good. He didn't have any breakfast. Oh, he doesn't like it. So we, we put water on it, you guys. And he's like confused, concerned. Hi. <laughs> He's snapping his nose at it. Chino, my friend, that's all you get, dude. Put it in that bucket there, maybe. That's a great idea. And I was concerned about the hay. He wants the stuff underneath. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Didn't get grain this morning, so this is the first time he wants he's getting grain, anything. not the hay. I know. <laughs> Anyways, he's pushy and kicking and throwing a fit today. So this guy might be going out sooner than later. So the vet said that if everything goes well, he should be able to go back out. He's grabbing his lips at it. <laughs> you said it again, Gabby. <laughs> the vet said he should be able to go out after three days. So today's the second day. So after tomorrow, he might maybe Monday, he'll be able to go back out. He's, lips are I saw him stomping. Oh, thanks, Gab. That's really kind of you. Anyways, I'm really happy to see how he's uh, doing. He, also laid down on that he laid too. down last night. He laid down on both sides. He laid on his sore leg. Chino Bambino. I'm so yeah. proud of you. So I, I can he laid definitely down on one tell. Side yeah, the swelling. The swelling is. It looks. I mean, he's still bandaged, but it looks see? a lot better. Yeah, he tore this. Yeah. Or yeah, probably laying down. We never really showed, shared with you guys what all Sam did get for Christmas. Sophie bought him a really nice knife for like for him to use at the barn. Um, I gave him a ton of money because he always complains about everything that I buy him. Always, he doesn't like anything, and it's true. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't want anything. He doesn't know what to buy. Like he doesn't need anything. So I just gave him a whole bunch of money and said, "Do what you want with it." Um, he liked that. He didn't complain. He hasn't complained one single time. <laughs> I think I might do that again. Anyway, like then he got a bunch of clothes and then he got, um, what else did he get? A lot of chocolate. What else does dad get? What did you buy him? Oh, Gabby got him some really nice new glasses that he loved that he wanted. Um, is that it? Anyway, he got a lot of good stuff for Christmas, stuff that he wanted, stuff that he needed, stuff that he likes, like money. He jeans. Yeah, he got jeans, like a bunch of jeans, which he really needed. My goodness. That's all the dirt that was on his leg. Yeah, that's looking really good. It's looking good here because the thing slipped down there. We yeah. We put it there. Yeah. But it doesn't stay. Yeah, see what a difference the standing wrap makes. But you know what? I think we'll hand, well, Fiona right says, here still the vet says not to hand walk them because an infection 
can go through your body. It's still swollen right here. But I think it might, I don't know. Hold that. I don't know, I think we should hand walk him. Actually, it's really good to feed him while we do this because he's just standing still. Oh my gosh, you guys. Really tired, it's fine. I'm so much happier today. Like, this is so much better. So if you remember yesterday, that section right there was massive and it's still swollen, but I think a lot of that will go away once we walk him. No, we'll, we won't wash it yet. We'll uh, use it again and then we'll wash it. Actually, we just have to clean that cut. Super glad that we bought extra wraps, cottons. To mainly work yeah, on. wow, it looks so good. You see where it stops I swelling. think he's ready, like tomorrow, I think he's ready to go so out. Right here and right there. Yeah, I think that little bit will go away with with walking. That looks amazing. Good you job. You that one. Because yeah, you have to redo it. You have to redo it. bad. All right, so we've done the antibiotics, we've done the butte, and now we're doing the electrolytes. So then, after all this, we're gonna give him the rest of his breakfast and then be done with it. Until we made sure that his, his pooping was okay, he had, we had him down on really reduced food. So that's all of our mess. Took a long time, you guys. This takes forever. And Sam's gonna have to bring Gabby back and do it all again tonight. If his dressing looks good tonight, I would leave it. And then, hi. Hi, Gino Mambino. And then, um, when you click. Just give him the medicine. Clicking to him means multiple things. Come, go, move, and stop it. Yeah, stop it. Stop it, Gabby. If I click at you, how I click, if I, okay, teach how me. Like, teach me the stop it click, Gabby. Then if I click at you. Oh, shoot. No, I need two hands. Two hands. It's not escape from you. Move your butt over so you can't move. He's like, I am tired of this. He's doing so much better. Like, he's ready to get outside. Still a gorgeous day out there, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys my problem. Okay, I'm going to tell you guys my problem. It's not like I've never done it before. <laughs> like I, I tell you all my problems. Okay, so this is me being real, being honest. Whew. Okay, so... My a big problem right this minute, like it was not a problem before. My problem is right now, it's like, I love riding Penny and I can't wait to get on her every time I come down here. I have to move these bags of shavings because I worry that she'll like not fit in that spot if there's no space. But anyway, it's okay. So my problem is that recently, like about um, three weeks ago, I dreamed me at the hospital with a dressing around my head. So I know I'm gonna get a head wound. I just, I just know it. And it hasn't happened yet. So every time I go to ride Penny outside the arena, like in the arena, I'm fine. But any time I go to ride her and the situation is like kinda sketchy, then I get nervous. I think like, I start thinking like, oh, maybe this is the time. Like, I don't want it ever to be the time. But what I need to do is not think about it. Oh. Hi, Pen. When I walked down to the barn, you guys, this girl was so far in the back, you wouldn't have believed it. So she heard my voice and she came for a run. I know she's got energy today too and I'm taking her someplace kind of nerve wracking. I'll be there, the ponies are coming too though. Okay. So yeah, like if I get a head injury, I know I go to the hospital and I know I'm fine. I just don't want to go to the hospital during a pandemic. And I don't want a head injury because I hate those things. <laughs> they hurt. And they last a long time too. Like they're no fun. So anyways, I am going to get Penny ready. I'm looking for the tripod. I keep a tripod in, pod in the barn. That's what YouTubers do. You keep a tripod everywhere. So I'm gonna get Penny all saddled up. I tell my family, come down, because I want them to film something for me. I always tell them, okay, you guys come down in 25 minutes, because that's when I'm gonna be ready <laughs> with my horse, because I like to take my time. I like to spend the time that I need to like make her beautiful and perfect, and yeah, so here we go. Trying our B 
be kind, ignore, or be kinder attitude and in the comment section and it was so good. You guys are amazing. Like it, you guys did awesome. Until, <laughs> uh, until somebody said some uh, crazy comment. Like this falls in the crazy hate comment. Someone said, you po post way too many videos and you're always lying. You're lying about Chino being hurt and blah, blah, blah. So I knew it was just like somebody who doesn't watch the videos, somebody just saying hateful things, right? So what's the policy? We're gonna just block them. So I was getting ready to block her. Ignore, block, no big deal. Wasn't even upset about it because it was just crazy hate. But then there's like six comments and I'm like, uh oh. So remember, we're supposed to be ignoring all that. <laughs> So then I look and it's all my favorite people. It's, I don't know if I should tell them by name, but I should tell them by name because I appreciate them all. It was Katie Johnson, it was another girl and it was Life With Horses. Some of my favorite people on earth and they came <laughs> to defend me and I was reading those comments and I was laughing so hard because I love them all so much and I love the fact that they were coming to defend me and that they were all three really close to my heart and but, we're supposed to be ignoring those comments. But the reason I was laughing is because, and the reason I love those girls so much is because, man, that is me, that is me. I, I'm the same as that, I find it really hard. And anyway, so I deleted the conversation and I blocked the girl and we're back on track for diffusing the hate in the comments, you guys. We're back on track, but thanks guys for being real, for being honest, for being who you are, and for trying to defend me. You're amazing. I love all three of you girls that were there. But remember, we're gonna just ignore those. We're just gonna ignore, ignore, and freeze out the hate. Switch into my helmet and my boots, and then we're gonna 
maybe I get to work, you guys. Pray for me. Pray for me. Always check inside your boot that there's no baby mice. That is a big fear of mine. video for some special surprise thing that I'm doing and I will have to ride a penny on the road I have to ride around the road but that's one thing weird about me is that if I have to like act brave for other people especially like women grown women that I respect like the Pasofino lady I have to like pretend like I know what I'm doing and then it gives me confidence like I just pretend I know what I'm doing so Let's go out there and do what I know what I'm doing. He so. doesn't fall for your tricks anymore. Who? The Pasolino lady. Yeah, the Pasolino lady. Okay, so Gabby is t t intending to spend this entire day in her room, in her bed. So she's not happy to be down here helping. But she will help because she's lovely and she wants to help her mama. Right, Gabby? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we are going to take the ponies with us. We got I, both I, of them. You should have brought your coat. All right, yeah. we're taking the ponies with us so that she doesn't like throw a fit. Not that she would throw a fit, but just for my own peace of mind. All right, we're off and walking. It's nice out today. Nice, bright, sunny. Lots of snow. Not too cold today. about what could be coming every day we danced and life was smiling we were young and drunk in love a few years later i have started thinking if it's just love in every glass i'm drinking we're like one and without just go slow over here
us bothering Every day we dance and life's been smiling We're not young, still drunk in love Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you're here to stay every night and day I'm delighted cause I got you We're not young, but we're still free and running And this day has never kept us bothering Every day we dance and life's been smiling We're not young, still drunk in love Oh, I got you, there's no reason to Chasing payment on my own Cause you are here to stay every night Gabby, our mother hens, they're freaking out about me driving, riding on the road. Freaking out. And Sophie's a nervous wreck. I don't know where she gets that. <laughs> and so they were like really stressing me out, pressuring me. And so the road ride didn't go that well. Sam says like the road was just way too slippery. So I'm not gonna be able to ride on there. And then I took Penny into the arena. Here's the thing about riding Penny. If you're relaxed, Penny's relaxed. And I'm not gonna lie, it was nerve wracking. I try to control it and I'm not like so afraid, but I'm a bit nervous out there. I was a bit nervous out there. And then so, so was she. But the minute I start singing to her, she turns into the dream to the best horse ever. So what you saw there, me walking around the arena was me pushing her over. Hey, was me pushing her over with my leg, me directing her with my body, me like riding her into the corners, which I've never been able to do before, as soon as I started singing to her. So I know that any of her anxiety now is still from me. Um, I don't think it's just specifically from me. I think that she gets anxious. She is an anxious horse, getting a million times better. Loving Sam, yeah. Loving Sam and loving me has changed this horse so much. Like, I know she was loved before too, but prior to that, she still has like a lot of that memory, but she's unlearning it. She is unlearning it. As soon as I started singing to her, we have a favorite song. It's called You Are My Sunshine. And I just go over and over and over. I only know two lines to the whole song. And the minute I start singing, she drops her head. The minute, every single time, like, I don't, I don't want to stop. Like I wanted to go around a hundred times. I wanted to change direction. I wanted, everybody was freezing. They're just standing there and I feel bad. And then, and I know I spend a lot of time with them and they always come with me when I want to, but as a mom, I feel bad making them have to stay down there with me. So I got to either get up my nerve and just go out there by myself. But I mean, that's hard to do anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. That was like the best thing that ever happened to me. That was the best ride. When I ride my Penny Girl, I feel the same. I feel better than when I ride the Pasofinos. Good boy. Yes, you are cute. Still waiting for an appointment. The vet is booked because of COVID. You gotta get some stuff cut off you, yeah. Don't you know that you're beautiful?